So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. On the jet sweep, here comes Fuller. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Quick slant fighting Claypool. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, Trubisky. Claypool with another catch. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Second and two. A give up the middle to McFarland. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They run straight ahead with Snell. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Snell yet again. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. McFarland. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Watson, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They go up the middle with Chubb. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. And this time they're able to bottle him up as he'll stop him at the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Here's Watson. This is the tight end to Joku. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 28. To throw is Watson. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Cortland 
and Sutton, 28 yards. And the Browns are back within a score. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Second down. Again, they defer to Snell. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Trubisky will throw. And that is incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's gonna be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. And he's gonna take this down close to a first down at the Browns 36. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. Try to run for it with Snell. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26 yard line. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Straight ahead running, here's McFarland. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. McFarland once more. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Snell is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Brand, he will not return it, and his guys will begin at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Throwing again is Watson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Watson. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Miles Jack able to record his fifth sack of the season. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. be a 
39 yard punt four on the return and the Steelers will go on offense here first and ten. First and ten here for Trubisky and the Steelers just shy of the 30. Starting the drive with Snell and he'll manage to pick up about four It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six on the handoff. It's Snell and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there. 56 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Tossing this out wide to McFarland. They find some open field here. And he will be taken down, but not before he gets this to the Browns' 10-yard line. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 